Interesting developing story. Short sellers in the crosshairs of federal prosecutors. Leslie Picker following the money has the latest developments for us. Some well-known names too, Les. Well, no names. And as you point out, it is a developing story. The Justice Department is currently in the information gathering stage of a wide ranging probe into short seller practices. I spoke with a source familiar with the matter who said Money Waters Carson Block is among several investors that have been served with a search warrant to review phones and other forms of private communication as part of this probe. At this stage, it appears that the process is more advanced with so-called activist short sellers, those who bet against a stock and then publish negative research about the company explaining their bearish thesis. However, the investigation is quite broad, looking into more than 25 investors, including those that are not activist in nature, but simply go long and short in certain names without publicizing their positions, essentially just a regular equity hedge fund. Short selling, of course, is not illegal, nor is the practice of publishing research about one's positioning. However, the Wall Street Journal is reporting and reported earlier today that the uh, Justice Department is interested in whether short sellers were engaging in spoofing. This involves fake orders used to try and pump up or, in this case, crash a stock price. The DOJ is also looking into instances where activist short sellers close out their positions without disclosing that they have done so. It is my understanding that no charges have been made at this time and the investigation is clearly ongoing. Short sellers have been defending their practice by saying that their research can root out corporate fraud and malfeasance. Scott. Which, which I mean, they have made that argument for as long as, as I can, you know, remember. Um, Leslie, thank you. I, I appreciate the mm -hmm. update on the story. Yeah, I don't know how many of you on the show today actually short stocks from, from time to time. Um, Joe, you, you want to take an opinion on, on just the mere fact that investigators are looking at this practice and perhaps some of the more nefarious forms of it? Because you can easily sit here and defend the tactics of short sellers um, as well for the very reason that Leslie ended her report on and the fact that they have from time to time rooted out serious fraud that might otherwise have gone uncovered. Absolutely. And it's a classic example of regulators always feeling the need to respond to something uh, that, that occurs in the market. And I think a lot of this is a response to what was witnessed in Q1 of 2021 as it relates to the do-it-yourself stock trading craze. So, um, but they're, they're without question of the very nature of short selling in some regards is advantageous to revealing some of the fundamental flaws that exist in companies. I mean, even if you're not, you know, re revealing a, a, a fraud, not every short case, carry has to be a fraud. It can just be a company that's trading way beyond what the fund fundamentals suggest that it should be. Yeah, I think that the nature of short selling is one that, that just opens itself to inquiry just because, you know, they're betting against the grain. You know, it's it's part of the market system. Uh, you don't always have to believe that stocks are going up, but because they want to take away from the value of stocks that other people hold, mm -hmm. um, there's, you know, th there's always going to be the question about whether they're using, um, it, you know, insider information or other tactics in which that they can get their job done. So, you know, I, I, I think this is just a natural progression. And we saw so much wild okay. trading in 2021. Right. We, it, it makes sense.